Well, I'm at the 2019 Concord Elegance at Ironstone in Murphy's, California, up in the gold country. I just uh, did a little video of the antique race cars on the dirt track, so don't miss that. And uh, now I'll walk through the cars in the uh, car show area. And of course, <laughs> obviously this is Mustang and Corvette area here, and I'm swinging around over to the um, trailers, campers, and RV display. Behind that are some more trailers, airstreams, and pickup trucks. And then we move down here, here's military. This row here is a row of unrestored original cars. Yeah. If you think about it, uh, some of these cars have been really, really taken care of extremely well, including the one that won the, the uh, best in class trophy right here is the uh, Chrysler Kia. Very nice Lincoln Continental Lehman uh, limo down there. And then we have an Imperial and a Dodge Polaro and Rolls Royce, of course. And how about uh, a 58 Porsche 356 Speedster, unrestored original? Nice Buick 55. And a Riley. That's uh, original, unrestored. And then there's more cars in the row in front of there, and leading up to um, the big classics, which are in the front row. And we've got an Al Jolson V16 Cadillac over there, and uh, a matching V16 parked next to it. There's only two of, well, there's two of these cars here, and there's only four of them like this known remaining. So it's kind of cool to have two of them here today. Um, I'm going to wander around the corner here to the other field where there's more cars, obviously, as the sign says. There's Donna Reed's Edsel from the Donna Reed show and they're showing Donna Reed TV on the, on the old black and white TV. So that's the car that was used in the Donna Reed show. Okay. Keep going here looking at cars. I got a ribbon. You'll see that uh, DeSoto on uh, one of my other videos. Oh, there's my TR, where'd she go? Suzanne, there's my TR3, the red one, straight ahead. I have that one too. There are 370 plus cars here today. There have been as many as over, uh, well, over 400 at different years here at the show. Today I judged the T-Bird row, so there's plenty of 55, 6, and 7 T-Birds, and then the lone 67 T-Bird right there. Here's our hard luck award Cadillac over here. On its way up here, um, there was some car that was stalled or stopped in the highway ahead of him coming around the corner he encountered it slammed on his brakes going around the corner and the car actually spun sideways and hit the uh, uh, Toyota I think is what they said drove it on in the Toyota had to be towed away 
but that's unfortunate that the car got damaged. Very repairable. Down here, um, ahead of the sports cars in the Jaguar Row, you'll see a little lake out there. And uh, today in the lake, they're offering rides in empty cars. So you'll see one here in a minute come through the trees with some passengers in the back. cars cruising around out here. Stone owners were so kind enough to drain the lake enough to put in a concrete ramp a few years ago so that the empty cars would have a nice cement entry into the lake. They did it just because the Iron Stone Conquers people mentioned that they were going to feature empty cars a few years ago. And when they explained what the empty cars were, Ironstone said, well, in that case, we're going to have to make the lake available. A nice roll of Hudson's, one of the featured manufacturers here this year. Okay, so here we go. This is kind of the end of the end of the road. Looking back up the hill. There you have it. Thank you for watching my walk through Ironstone. <laughs>